Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Oswego Blizzards Dynasty as we are going to be taking on another Tier 4 foe in this one, going up against the newcomers to Tier 4 after being relegated last year, the Old Dominion Monarchs. Now, they, this team is definitely very good. Currently 6-2 in overall and are sitting at second place currently and very close to being in first place to in the independence. Now, this is going to be a tough team to really face off against for us as they are one of the best teams, as I've, as I've said, in tier four. So we are going to need to control the ball as much as possible. They have some of the better athletes in the conference. So we will be having to match up big time against them. Their defense has been their calling card. They have a top five defense in the nation in terms of scoring. So this will be a difficult game. Other things of note, we are going to be without Timmy Flanagan, who again picked up another injury this week. And Bryson Hill is also going to be out after finishing last game with an injury, and he will be out for the remainder of the season, which is going to be unfortunate for us. Those are the talking points for our team. Let's see if we can control the ball and beat this tier four team. So we lost the toss, but we will still receive as lots of teams like to defer to the second half. And we will just take a knee on this one and we will start this game off from our own 25 yard line as Marcus Seals does not take that out. So now we've got Abdul Pace, and he will start this game off with an inside rush to Marcus Seals. This has been a new turning point with our team. We have been able to capitalize on open middle runs. And again, on another one, Marcus Seals will pick up a nice seven yards. That will give him a first down as we are starting to march down the field. So now Abdul Pace will keep this one to Obi Hopkins as he gets a chance of running up the middle. This time is going to be wrapped up by Denzel Lowry on the play. So now we're looking at second down and 10 and Abdul Pace is going to keep this one. He'll beat the first guy and find some open space and he'll pick up a nice 15 yard rush on the play. That will move us into Monarch territory. Abdul Pace is going to keep this one again, and he's got some blockers ahead, but will be caught from behind. But that will still be a first down as he picks up 11 yards on the rush. Second down and seven here, and Obi Hopkins will keep this one as he finds some open space off the tackle, and he will pick up six yards just short of that first down. Third down and one will go to the flex bone, and we will be giving this one to Trent Gaines as he will fight forward and he'll pick up the first down as our offense continues to move down the field almost into the Monarch red zone. Abdul Pace is gonna keep this one. He'll be tripped up just a little bit there in the backfield and he will only pick up a yard on that second down rush as we approach our first third down and medium on the day. Marcus Seals will take this one and he will be shut down. He'll pick up a yard and that will force the field goal team to come out as we will take the three points and we will start this game off on the seven minute drive and strike first blood scoring making this game three to zero so we will now kick this ball off greg thompson kicking this one and they will take this one from their own three yard line and he's got a little bit of space here and then they will be sandwiched and will pick up 30 yards on the return. So now Wolf will get his first try and he will be met in the backfield. That's going to be a no gain on that one as Jamal Keys comes in and makes the play. The very good true freshman for us so far. And on second down, 
Hayden Wolf will throw that one out of bounds, setting up a third down and long. Very good start to this game for the Oswego defense. Third down and 10. And it's going to be caught by Harvey as Bernard Dawson gets beat off the line and he'll try and strip the ball from behind, but will unable to bring down Javen Harvey as he takes that one all the way to the end zone. Touchdown for the Monarchs as they will now take a seven to three lead in this first quarter. Bernard Dawson, not good enough to hold on to him and jam him up. Our 61 overall Juco transfer, unable to make the play. So now Old Dominion will kick this one off. Thomas Mayo is going to get a chance to return this one from his own one yard line. And he will take this one up to a good return. 27 yard return on that one as we will start ahead of where we would be if they took the knee. So now Marcus Seals will receive an inside handoff and he'll pick up two yards as that will take us out of the first quarter. So first play from the second quarter, Obi Hopkins will receive that handoff and he will find some open space but is unable to finish the play on the first down, picking up six yards as the defense catches up to him. Third down and short here. Marcelo Mobley in the game, and he will fight for that first down, and he'll pick it up, picking up exactly what he needed, and that will lead to a first down for the Blizzard. Marcelo Mobley is going to keep this one, and he will just continue to fight, follow his blockers right behind him the whole way, and he'll pick up a nice eight yards behind the good blocking from the Blizzard offensive line. Second down and two, and Abdul Pace will keep this one, and he'll go and get that first down. That is a three-yard gain. First down and ten, Abdul Pace is back to pass on this one, and he'll find Obi Hopkins, and he'll pick up seven yards after taking a hit up the middle. But that is a good play as Old Dominion sent the house, and they will pick up a good seven yards on first down. Second out and three here. Abdul Pace will hand this one off to Marcus Seals, and that's going nowhere. He'll lose a yard. Morrison there to make the tackle. Third down and medium here. Marcelo Mobley is going to keep this one. Very good decision as everybody went to Obi Hopkins. He'll pick up a nice 17 yards, and more importantly, the ball will continue to move down the field as we are again approaching the Monarch red zone. Obi Hopkins receives this handoff and he's got a burst of speed and he'll pick up five yards as he bounces that outside after the middle was all clogged up. Third down and one here. Trent Gaines is going to receive that handoff and they're going to give it to him. Two yard pickup and a first down for the Blizzard as we approach one minute left in the half. Marcelo Mobley will hand this one off to Marcus Seals. He'll pick up four that will set up a third and seven as the half continues to tick down. Third down and seven. Marcelo Mobley is going to keep this one, but everybody was covered and he wisely keeps it. But we will lose three yards on the play. We will kick the field goal as the last play of the half. And David Parham is going to knock that one through as we take a one point deficit into the half as we will be kicking the ball off to Old Dominion who has only had the one possession in the whole first half. Absolutely can't complain about this first half. We have done exactly what we have wanted to do. We have held on to the ball and we have forced Old Dominion to have to play defense for basically the entire half. One thing we need to work on coming out of this half is we need to be able to stop the pass. Made a bad decision on third down and 10, wanted to pressure Wolf, but that was a unwise decision as Bernard Dawson does not have the skills to be able to stop on a press, and that showed by him getting beat. Let's see what kind of adjustments we can make on the defensive end as we will start the, ball, start the second half, kicking it off to Old Dominion, 
as he will take this one basically from the exact same spot as the first kick as he will lose, not pick up as much as Bly and will only take that one 25 yards as they will start this drive from their own 28 yard line. Hayden Wolf back to pass and he will find Paige who just returned the kickoff on that one. He'll pick up four yards on the play. Second half adjustments getting into a zone. Wolf is back to pass and that is going to be knocked down. That play is knocked down as the pressure was coming. Very good stop from the Blizzard setting up third down and long. This could be a big stop here and that's going to be knocked down. Alan Smith is there to make the play. The Juco Junior 63 overall outside linebacker and Old Dominion will punt the ball off to Bernard Dawson as he tries to make some space but is unable to beat the first guy. And now Oswego has a chance to take the lead in this first drive of the second half. Obi Hopkins will receive the inside handoff but the entire defensive line was in the backfield before he even got the ball and he luckily brings that ball back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10 here as Marcus Seals will keep this one on the inside. He'll pick up three yards, setting up a third down and long. Abdul Pace back in the backfield. He'll drop back to pass on this one and he will find Devon Fontaine and he will drop it. He will drop the third down on that one and we, the Blizzard will be kicking that ball back to Old Dominion. Now we've got Hayden Wolf, and he is going to find nobody, and he's going to find some wide open space instead, and we'll pick up a first down. But that will be coming back after a clipping call from the refs on that one that will move them back to a first down and one. Hayden Wolf back to pass on the first down and one, and he's got nobody open, but is going to outrun. Uh, Brad Sewell on that one, the freshman defensive tackle, as he picks up the first down and a little bit more. Hidden Wolf again back to pass, finding absolutely nobody and is going to lead his wide receiver just a little bit far on that one as he was forced to by the defense. Second down and 10, Hayden Wolf back to pass again and they will give Isaiah Page the route up the middle and will pick up 10 yards not picking up the first down third down and inches here for the monarchs and hayden wolf will go and pick it up as there was very good run blocking from the monarchs on that one not allowing our defense to get into the backfield hayden wolf with the pump fake on this one it is going to be knocked down by bernard dawson he is not fooled by the pump fake as that is something that is new for this team as we usually fall for those fakes. Second down and 10, Hayden Wolf will find his receiver up the up on the sideline, Javen Harvey, as we give it to him on the play. And now Watson will try and fight for the touchdown and will be met after breaking the first one. He will be met just before the goal line. Second down and 10, Hayden Wolf back to pass and he'll find Isaiah Page. He'll roll that one in. And that will be a one yard touchdown for him and the second touchdown on the day for Hayden Wolf as they now take an eight point lead, 14 to six. So now we've got a studio update here and Georgia Tech is an upset alert for North Carolina. This could be a big deal. Georgia Tech, one of the teams that was promoted from tier two last year. This could really hurt North Carolina's chances at the conference championship. Now Marcus Seals will find some open space on the first play of the drive. He'll pick up 14 yards. Very good decision by Abdul Pace to pitch that one off. Three minutes to go in the third quarter and Obi Hopkins is going to be met in the backfield. He'll lose three yards on the inside handoff. Denzel Lowry again in the backfield. Second down and 13 here. Marcelo Mobley is going to keep this one and will be brought down by his face mask. That is a lifesaver for the Blizzard. That's going to be an automatic first down as we were going to have a very difficult third down on that one if he is not brought down by the face mask. So with new life into Monarch territory, Marcus Seals will keep this one trying to beat the corner on the outside and he will pick up seven yards after beating the first guy but not the second. 
Second down and three here for Marcelo Mobley, keeping this one as he goes and picks up the first down seven yard rush. This is something new for this week, trying to keep Abdul Pace healthy. Marcelo Mobley will keep and come in and pick up the yards as he is the speedy guy. And now Obi Hopkins will find some space. He'll pick up the first down, but that is to no avail as we will be called for a holding on the play. Cortez Jacquez, the tight end on the play, called for that holding. So that sets us way back as Clark Amos will pick up a good chunk of that back. He'll pick up 11 yards. That's going to set up a nice second down and six on the slant route. Obi Hopkins receiving the outside handoff. He'll pick up five yards, making a nice third down and two after the holding. Very good plays so far. Marcelo Mobley will keep this one, but will pitch that one off to Obi Hopkins as the defense crashes on him. That's a first down. It is very good play there to overcome the holding call. Obi Hopkins has got some space, but is unable to break away. He'll pick up seven yards on that second down rush as we are in the six minutes left in the fourth quarter. Third down and seven here. Down eight. Marcelo Mobley keeps the ball. He'll pitch it to Marcus Seals, and he will be caught by the corner on that one as that is a very good open field tackle. Five minutes to go. We need to score points. Down eight. And that is a very good defense by Terry Jones as he comes forward and knocks the ball free from Clark Amos, our sure-handed senior, as that is fantastic play. Clark Amos is going to make that catch if he does not knock that ball from his hands. Old Dominion, in the shadow of their goalpost, is going to toss this one deep. MJ Shelton is unable to make the play. Harvey's going to take this one to the end zone. That's going to be a touchdown for the Monarchs as they increase the lead from eight and will now take the lead by 15. After the extra point, they'll go up 21 to six as MJ Shelton was beat and was unable to locate the ball and make the tackle to finish the play. That will set us back as we are going to get an update on Georgia Tech, and they do pull off the upset on North Carolina. That'll shake some things up in the ACC at that tier one. That is going to be interesting. Not ACC, that's SEC. Now on first down, Clark Amos will pick up 21 yards as we need to get down the field in a hurry. Marcelo Mobley now in the backfield. He'll toss this one out to Obi Hopkins. He'll pick up a good chunk. As we continue to move this ball down the field, he'll pick up six on the rush. Monarch territory here as we just barely cross the midfield point. Abdul Pace back to pass in. He'll find Cortez, but is unable to pick up the block from Devrin Fontaine. Devrin Fontaine having an off day today. If he picks up the block, that's a touchdown. Devrin Fontaine just a little bit behind. That was exactly what we were looking for. A quick flag route and is unable to make the block that we needed. Now on first down and 10, Marcelo Mobley will keep this one as the defense tries to play both and is able to play the both. Se second down and 10, two and a half to go as we need to make plays, but it is going to be intercepted by Charity as Abdul Pace was running out of time. He needed to make a throw, unable to take a sack and trying to score points. We tried to go for the explosive play and it backfires. That should just about do it with two and a half to go. We've got three timeouts, so we still have a shot. Watson, he will receive the draw play as we read that one quickly and he only picks up six yards. Gonna save the timeout just in case we need it for another drive. Clock ticking under two minutes. Hayden Wolf will keep this one. He's got some wide open space. He could take this one, tripped up by his blocker, and is unable to make the play. That's going to be a touchdown for Hayden Wolf, and that will just about seal it. Very tough running from Hayden Wolf on that one, and he will finish this game off. That's going to be the dagger on that one, as they will win this one 28-6. 
This game went just about as good as I think we could have played in this one. This is one of the top teams in tier four. So we got a little bit of a taste of what it's like to play somebody that could be fighting for that rel that promotion spot in our conference. We were, we held on to the ball pretty well. I think that we played pretty good offense. That second half though, I think our play calling went a little bit conservative and we really went away from the read options and the triple options, which is exactly what our offense is really about. And I think that we just need to make that adjustment into this next week's. Um, we implemented a little bit of the pass um, this week, trying to utilize Abdul Pace's uh, arm. We didn't throw the ball a ton, but we on the throws that we did, they were very calculated and very um, chosen to try and confuse the defense, have some explosive options just in case we beat somebody off the line. Um, but a lot of them are dunk downs, so we were really able to kind of move the ball um, a little bit better. But like I said, just a little bit conservative on the offensive side of the ball in that second half, which really kind of hindered our offense in this game. Um, that's going to be something that we're going to need to make an adjustment about next week as we're going to be taking on Louisiana Tech, another tier four team. Old Dominion, this is a good team, and they're uh, top two in the conference for a reason, and one of the tier three teams from last year. So we will be, I like the progress that we've made. We held them to 28 points. So I think that we are on a very positive trajectory, and this is a positive game for us. So now we're gonna be talking about our recruiting board. We are really starting to hone in on exactly the guys that we are wanting. Um, trying to make sure that we definitely pick up some corners. Um, we will be picking up uh, some Antoine Harris pretty soon, but unfortunately we lose on Tommy Wilson to our rivals of all teams. Unfortunately, we were unable to pick up Calvin Wyatt this last week and they, he is going to be visiting Pitt this week. So hopefully they have a terrible game um, and so that we can be able to pick him up. It would be awesome to have a speedy fullback in our backfield. The budget's looking pretty good so far. We are under budget. Um, we might have to th start thinking about getting a Calvin Wyatt visit just in case, um, depending on how this uh, visit goes with Pitt because we absolutely want Calvin Wyatt Everybody else that we definitely want, we are ahead on. So we are looking pretty good on the recruiting front. Looking at that Calvin Wyatt and Dustin Swan, if we can pick them up, that would be awesome. So like I said, next week we will be taking on Louisiana Tech. This is a team that has definitely underachieved in our conference this year, only winning two games, but this is not a team that we can take lightly. The talent they have on their team is far beyond what we have. So we will be needing to really make sure that we take the adjustments that we've made this last week and take them into next week. I think that we're going to start trying to implement just a little bit of the passing game into our offense in these last few weeks. Um, We've seen some success on the rush, but the second half we have struggled a little bit more uh, because of just being tired. So as I said in the community post in this last week, they, we will be doing conference standings and all the rankings in the Billings videos so that we avoid the spoilers and so that we can see the excitement time of promotion and relegation. But that is going to do it for this video. If you have enjoyed this, hit the panda, subscribe to the channel, and like the video, share it if you would like. And we will see you next week in Oswego.